Half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the teeth. Mm-mm, it's Gary, baby. Oh, the end the color of the day. What do you buy? If your laundry is longing for a scent that's seriously irresistible, you got to try Gain Flings Detergent. Gary, good morning. Good morning, Maria. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Gloria Velez, baby. Y'all remember the video victim is Gloria Velez, honey. She was a hot girl back in the 90s, honey. Well, she is speaking out. She said Uncle Luke and her um, ex-baby's father, Mr. Aaron Hall, honey, she said they did some things. She said that um, she's speaking out saying that um, him and her, um, Aaron Hall, Luke and Aaron Hall, y'all, she's accusing them, Ricky, y'all, of grooming underage girls. She said, honey, she said they did it to her back in the day. Now, they're saying that singer Aaron Hall is facing more abuse allegations along with um, Uncle Luke. Now, she said back in the 90s, honey, they were preying on underage girls, honey, and she said she definitely was a victim, Ricky, of grooming. Now, they're saying that the entertainer took to her social media to discuss the allegation, and she put, if you don't think grooming is happening in this business, you're sadly mistaken. She said it started back in 1994 with Luke and a few others, honey, in this business. She said she was definitely in high school. And Uncle Luke responded. He said, first of all, I don't even know what grooming is, honey. So, you know, they went back and they told him they had to let him know what grooming was, honey. They let him know that, you know, the situation that um, he had allegedly did, you know, kind of was definitely a grooming, you know, so... It's a sad situation, though. Now that this Diddy situation is coming out, she said that, you know, there are a lot of people coming out the woodwork. Can you imagine how many nervous celebrities there are wondering if someone is going to come out and accuse them of something? Yeah. I mean, there's got, I mean, there's probably a whole lot of stuff that went on back in the day, probably going on right now as oh, well. Yeah. Mostly yep. in the music industry. Yeah. Yes. You know, she said she was only 16. And, you know, but it's, it's definitely but coming you, out. You and know, there was stuff said about Aaliyah. About her, yeah. her whole situation, yeah, you know, R. With Kelly. Yeah. R. Kelly and Damon Dash and all of them. So, yeah, I mean, it's been going on forever. So they took, they um broke down to um sixty two year old Uncle Luke what grooming is, and it is when someone builds a relationship, trust, and emotional connection with a child or young person to say they can manipulate, exploit, and abuse them. That's what grooming is. So he told her, he said, first of all, I don't know what that. He said, I'm not Russell Simmons. He said, I don't do that. Ooh. That's what Uncle Luke no, said, ooh, baby. He, he called Nate. I know he called Nate. Oh, he said shift the focus. <laughs> yeah. so wow. I'm like, oh, wow. Damn. So, so we're going to follow that story and see how that all turns out. All right, moving on in other celebrity news, y'all. Did anybody watch the Soul Train Awards last night? I tried. Ricky, did you watch it? Was it that bad? Oh, Ricky. They did too much. It was distracting. Kiki Palmer was the um, host. And, I mean, we love Kiki Palmer, but <laughs> it was just... <laughs> Honey, I, I, she how did she do? A lot. <laughs> they, it, she did. She may have did somewhat good, but it was just too much. They filmed it outside. Number one, she kept sweeping her hair, honey. And for one thing, it was too much. I, my TV is bad because it was red. It looked red yeah. on on the outside and stuff. And it just the lighting was off and shooting it outside. It looked. It, it had the feel of a long music video. Yeah, it, it just didn't. I mean, and we love Soul Train, but last night just wasn't. The, so I had to watch. Marriage I mean, it Madison. didn't hit. It didn't have no vibe to it. No. They didn't promote it well either. Make I sure found out after the fact. Yeah. 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 So some of the performances was decent. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Money Long had a good. Had, she did a good performance. Uh, October London did a great performance. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just it, too it, much it, it in the just, background yeah. going on. Yeah. So we just we hope next week it's gonna be. But I tell you, which award show was good? The Grio. The Grio Award was good. I think that was Friday. I said night. Cheryl Underwood and um, Ricky. Um, um, what's your own boy from um, Alabama? Um, Roy Wood Jr. Roy Wood. Yeah, they hosted it. And oh, they nice. Good. Yeah, it was nice. really good. It was really nice, honey. I mean, you know, uh, Mariah Carey received the Nikon Award. Oh, I did and, see a little bit of that um, with Patti LaBelle. Yes. <laughs> yes, baby. It. Miss Patti LaBelle saying, baby. And I, it touched me when Mariah Carey went up to the stage and touched this girl's feet. Yes, yeah. she was definitely wow. no good. She was the queen, honey, and she got That's it from right. her. Oh, yes, that was honey. nice. It was very nice. It brought tears to my eyes. It was just she so paid homage. Good. She sure did, honey. But don't well, don't think it kind of just bothered me a little bit, just a little bit. I mean, it was a lot of talking a lot about blacks and you know black and you know economically and you know all the black stuff that's going on. But um, uh, Eddie Murphy and um, what's his name, the host of it, um. um What's his name, Ricky? The guy who... Ron Wood Jr. No, the guy who owned the show. <laughs> um, the Grio? Yes. Oh, Byron oh, Allen? Byron Allen. Yes. Yeah. Byron <laughs> Allen and Eddie Murphy. I mean, they were talking all this black talking about, yes, black people got to do this, and we need to do that, and blah, blah, blah. Well, they right. But they, but they panned the camera on their wives. 
Oh, I see what you said. I see where you're going. Keep I'm it just, moving, Gary. Keep it moving. I just I, I couldn't understand it, but hey, that's good. <laughs> you think they, they were being funny when they were doing that? They did a great job. So <laughs> pro-black ones be having them white ones. Thank you. Boy. Yeah, dread head, yeah, head full of dreadlocks and carrying on. Becky boy. And honey, be going on. Oh, really? Now, how would you go home and talk about that? But anyway, it was a great show, and I enjoyed it. Oh, I'm gonna give me one too. I'm tired of all this season and all this food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you get one and watch it. Uh -huh. Anyway, the color of the day, honey, is one of my favorites. The color of the day, y'all, is Magnolia Hyde. On the high end, you say Magnolia Hyde, and on the low end, you say beautiful off-white. That's your color. Oh, that's your color for the day. Oh, that was beautiful. Y'all give it up for Gary with the team. <laughs>